Working on live equipment poses very significant risks. It's easy for accidents to happen when the source of energy connected to whatever you're working on is not properly isolated. At Galliotta Point in Trinidad, BP was using contractors in the construction of a new office building. Afi Morgan and Abiko Hernandez were electricians brought in to fit fluorescent lights in the ceiling. They hadn't received any safety information about the site and nobody had told them what the safety rules were. They had to reach the junction boxes in the ceiling and Afi was using a ladder to work on the junction box. But Afi and Abiko were working without switching off the electrical power. The permit to work specified isolating the electricity supply, but this requirement was not followed. And it seems it was common local practice for electricians to work with the power on. Right, they were also under pressure to get the job the done. 13 of these to do still, you know. Yes, man, just, just one more, one more. He'd touched a live wire. His grasp on a sprinkler pipe had provided a pathway to okay. earth for the current. Albert, Albert, come quick. What's happened? I think, it, I think he let you keep himself. Is he breathing? Not sure. One can help. Affy was rushed to hospital where staff spent 30 minutes trying to revive him, but their efforts were unsuccessful. The golden rule on energy isolation lays down strict guidelines to prevent accidents like this from happening. You must isolate any source of energy before starting work if that energy source could cause the machine you're working on to suddenly start up. Or if the sudden release of stored energy could cause injury. Do you always isolate energy sources before doing work of this kind? Or do you cut corners and leave the power on? The rule applies to any energy source, including electrical, like these switches for electric motors, mechanical, like this diesel pump, hydraulic, such as pressurized oil systems, pneumatic, which would include any source of compressed air or gas, like the one driving this pump, gravitational, including suspended loads, chemical like injection systems or any source of hydrocarbons that might otherwise build up and create an explosive or dangerous atmosphere. Nuclear and thermal energy like the heat in this furnace. But you can't isolate any of these energy systems unless the method of isolation and the discharge of any stored energy have been agreed and executed by a competent person. Any stored energy must be fully discharged and a system of locks and tags used at isolation points. You should make sure a test has been done to confirm that the isolation is effective. and the isolation should be checked periodically to see that it continues to be effective. Do you periodically check the isolation? We have a next At Galliotta Point, the contractors were building offices and safety received less attention than on a traditional oil and gas project. But the workers deserved just as much protection. A specific HSE plan was developed for the project and shared with all contractors. Experienced workers sometimes feel they can take shortcuts. Don't be complacent. One moment's lapse is all it takes. Isolate energy sources when you're working. If it's unsafe, stop work.